Hey what's up guys Rajat here from VFX World welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine In this tutorial I will explain about silhouette sequence paint process and it's a beginner based tutorial so those who didn't know anything about sequence paint they guys can learn from this video so please watch this video completely and without wasting any time as I always say let's get started <laughs> Okay, so right now we are in Silhouette and before starting this tutorial, I just want to tell that this Silhouette version license is provided by the Boris FX. So it's a big thank you for me and my team. Okay, so first of all, as you guys can see that this is my footage and uh, this is a lion character from the movie The Lion King and the character name is Simba and uh, it's a complete cgi based movie and uh, today i'll trying to remove this character or this small simba character from this footage by using silhouette sequence paint and i already done this before few frames because as you all know silhouette paint is little uh, time taking so that's why i did few frames for this tutorial purpose and i just connect this to this then i will show you how it's exactly look like so this is my cleaned area see right now nothing is visible and uh, when i go to this paint option see i removed this okay so i'll come in uh, detail after a few minutes so first of all i just disconnect this paint node and connect it to here and uh, as you all know that this is the silhouette most recent released version and uh, yes there is a node based so first of all i'm just disconnect this paint node because right now i didn't need that i'll create one more node uh, for this tutorial which is a new one so first go to the notes and those who guys didn't know how to create sequence and all uh, i'll create one more tutorial based on that and i will explain in detail that what is paint and what is roto and very soon i will be starting in my channel silhouette master classes and i will teach each and every part in details from roto to paint to whatever we can do in silhouette part by part so it will coming as a episode wise so uh, for, for paint purpose you just have to create a paint node uh, so in this note panel you guys can see there's a paint node over here as you all see there's a roto node also there so if you drag and drop this roto node the roto uh, session will coming up and if you select this paint node the paint session will pop up so i just click drag and drop so now the paint toolbar is right now here and now what you have to do is just select and just drag and drop like this so it will automatically connect with this so now it's very easy so this is the output mode when you double click on this it will show only the footage when you double click on your paint node the paint option will pop up and when you go to output node the output will be showing here it's very easy it's not a very big thing and just double click on the paint node because we are working today on this paint node so before starting this tutorial i just want to tell few things very less few things about this toolbars okay so these are the tools uh, for paint we are using and today i'll explain about this clone stamp tool in sequence paint we are always using this clone tool there is also a brush tool like if you need some colors and if you want to create some paints like manually you if you want to create something by using this paint you can use this there are some uh, many options like green like settings like black and white and all so i'll uh, make one tutorial which i already told that i'll create a session master classes about this paint where i'll tell I'll, I'll, where i'll where i will explain everything in detail about this toolbars and all but today i'll cover this clone stamp tool and this is a complete silhouette sequence paint okay so when you double click on this paint node this option will pop up and when you click this clone stamp tool there are few more options will be here one is like presets and all and uh, one is like it's kind of a layer kind of thing where the paint history is the stroke brushes will be there you guys can delete it or uh, you just go in a specific frame and delete that specific uh, paint history okay so i just remove this because i don't need that right now so i just remove this one also so this is my main list i just remove this also the object list so that right now i have my clear node based panel okay now it's fine so for paint purpose you need only this much area and there are a few settings before starting this tutorial i just want to tell that for this you have to select this alpha option because 
if you want to export your alpha from silhouette to nuke for more advanced work which you can't do in silhouette then obviously you have to turn on this alpha otherwise there is uh, no way to export your alpha for here from here to silhouette okay and uh, see there is uh, some options over here which is called like size opacity softness fall off uh, flatness angle and spacing these are all our brush properties and this airbrush option there's a build up and this option i will not explain today because uh, it will uh, taking so much time to each and every parts i have to explain so it will take so much time and there is option is called clone grade and filters wrap and all and uh, some more options but today i will use few options for this prep out or you guys can call it like frame by frame sequence paint for zoom in purpose i'm clicking shift and just mouse middle mouse and just drag and uh, drag up and down so it will zoom in and zoom out and for brush increase just press control and click on the screen and just drag your mouse so the cursor cursor will be uh, where you can scale the scaling a uh, scale up and scale down and uh, for taking some reference as you all know in photoshop we have to use the alt key and drag and then uh, we're taking the source and from for here for source purpose we have to click shift and just drag it like this so that right now the uh, previous one is our sourced area and this one is our uh, like after when you click and it will be like this now see it's completely look like photoshop so by using this you can actually clean this but we are not using this way so by pressing ctrl z okay it's done so right now what you can see you guys can see there's an option is called like source foreground from here i'm just taking it to like output mode and there's a frame option is also there offset and all it will be using by using our navigation key so i'll come in later and uh, you guys can see there's a frame option so first of all i want to remove this character from this frame so for removing this frame i have to take a reference from different frame so when i uh, play this footage like in this kind of frame this area is right now completely cleaned so it means i can take this frame as my reference and i i can paste this reference to this first frame because this area and this area is completely same but there is no character and in this frame there's a character so my idea is i have to remove this character so let's take for my case i'm taking like 47 number frame is very good frame so what i'll do just go to the first frame and it's very easy i'll just go to this frame option and over here i'm typing like 47 and press this so it means like right now whatever i'm doing it will take reference for clone for from that 47 number frame okay so right now what you have to do you have to match both frames positions okay so by pressing caps lock you can see your reference is right now here and when you turn off this caps lock it will be uh, vis uh, not visible so by pressing caps lock you can toggle this and there is a lots of option over here like this one is actually uh you guys can call is like a opacity down so from here you can increase your opacity and decrease your opacity and this is also another option and this is my most favorite option i am always using this and this one is from up and down so both the different different name like this is a vertical one this is a horizontal one okay this is the align one and this is the enable onion key overlay onion as you all know in nuke we call this as an onion option but i am using this option because i think this is a really helpful option okay so first of all by default let's match this rock as you guys can see there's a rock over here so i will ma uh, match this rock with my this reference so right now this rock is here right so i'll just click my navigation key left and right so that it will be moving like by pressing shift and click it will move like five or ten frames very faster okay then just go down like this so it's now moving right so now i'll just uh, go to this option when you go here you can actually move your references like this so i'm just go in between like this see now there is rock is not visible so what i have to do i just have to match this rock okay so now i have to match this properly so now when you press caps lock turn on off on off now you can see it's almost matched but in this area it's not matched okay but we have to match this area because we have to remove this character okay so just make sure these two areas should be matched okay so let's see there's a light is changing okay the light is little brighter in this area see but in this area this is very dark so we have to go to this grade option okay and uh, let's i already done this before so i know so let's make it like a sorry uh, let's make it point 0.93 
and see this light is going down and if you wish you can make it like a point ninety two and uh, press enter so now light is almost same now see this little bit position changes so when you go ups and down and you can actually make your position properly now it's almost kind of same position so it's good actually okay so but still there is little bit motion over there so you have to now it's fine okay so i am actually uh, checking in this area okay so you have to take so many times but if you want to rotate it on all w key is that a key for rotate your plate and all so when you're happy with this clean clean plate you guys can check it like this so it's almost good so now turn off this caps lock and simply just click on this line area do not click any other parts because we have to remove only the line so if you uh, draw any other parts then that will also affect it by this uh, clone so just click and do it like this and it's very easy actually first of all what you have to do you have to just adjust our reference frame and that's it and when you're doing this it's very easy now press one and two you can toggle between your input and output now if you notice that we already uh, displaced our main frame okay the line is removed but we already uh, some issues on this main foreground plate so just go to the eraser tool and decrease your brush size by pressing control and simply uh, just make a rough mask over here by using this rubber tool now when you go to one and two see right now there is nothing happening it's actually going really well so now i'll remove this area paint as well actually what happened i'll show you now see this is my painted area okay so i'll just paint it here so right now what happened the paint area is actually right now fixed okay so this area is also and see this area is actually will be fixed so just paint it like this so i'm actually erasing my painted strokes from this area because i need only the lion part which is actually affected by this uh, clone option okay see right now this is a little bit here okay now it's fine okay and this area is as well so i have to remove this one also now see nothing is there actually it's very easy but what you have to do you have to every time make sure your frame and all are in uh, the right position and I have to remove this one also because otherwise this is also being very jerked area and I'm just decreasing my brush size more for this areas as well okay so it's very specific thing you have to maintain so right now the, my first frame the line is removed in fact uh, it's removed very well and without uh, lost any kind of textures and all so now i have to go my second frame okay now i'm going to this again the clone stamp tool and uh, then i will go my second frame now my reference are right now same my grading options are right now same so not, nothing need to change anything so uh, what happened what i'll do right now now when i go to this second frame i'll take this one as like 47 frame again it's right now fixed as my 47 number frame so i'll take every time 47 number frame as my reference and right now again when i press caps lock now see it comes again and now i have to again match it by using this navigation tools and it's very easy but every time as i told it should be in proper way okay if you didn't match it properly it will never clean your uh, things properly okay so let's see there is a slightly movement over here okay and uh, when you do doing, doing this make sure all over things are in proper in fact exactly the same position okay right now i managed all this now if you notice this area is not matched but guys trust me if you notice this area and if you are trying to fix this area then this area will be not fixed it's actually based on your specific parts you can only ma match your specific parts because there are a few parallax few camera motion camera movement and all so you can't match properly yes you can if your camera will not move then you can match now if i manage this area it will not uh, sorry it will actually hamper okay so i'll just increase my brush size and by pressing turn off my caps lock and again simply start painting or you guys can call it start cloning uh, this simba character and it's very easy i do not use bigger brushes because it will hamper your 
rest of the parts which will not required for paint out or uh, clean up okay so i'm just removing it like this it's very easy to create and very easy to maintain but you have to always make a proper practice because as you all know nothing will be proper without your practice so pressing one and two you can toggle between this now see this frame is proper now go to the previous frame and the next frame right now two frames are exactly on my same way so this is the actual way now you have to maintain this separate thing this thing in each and every frames and this 99 frame footage link is in description you guys can go and download this footage and try your work over here now go to the first and second frame are same for you guys i'll just make one more frame so that you guys can understand it again properly so again next frame and then the frame number is like 47 number frame and uh, then pressing caps lock and then adjust your frames by using this navigation tool and now guys if you can use this one this one is also helpful for toggle but in my case i'm using this one because i think this is a really helpful tool uh, but if you can use the other tools that is also a good thing but i am not using this one because i don't know why i am i can't use this tool because it's really uh, weird uh, when I see this two footage uh, overlapped with each other. I don't know. It's uh, I actually getting confused between these two. Okay. So right now it's almost in same place. I think yes. Right now it's same place. And then just start again painting it. I'm doing it very fast. And you guys can take in so much time and do it in proper way this is thing actually in fact when you start loving with this you can do all the things by using this paint process inside of silhouette and as you all know in our industry silhouette is a growing software and it can beat in fact it already beat photoshop and because in this software you can do roto and paint in fact comb keying so it's a very good thing so by pressing one and two i can toggle between this see right now this area is a little bit affected so by pressing this eraser tool just decreasing this brush and simply painted this area right now nothing has happened this area is a little bit okay it's cool right and i think you guys already starting understanding like what is paint process in fact sequence paint inside of silhouette okay so this is my first three frames i already uh, doing this for you guys and let's show you i'll show you like i already done this before so how exactly it will look like when you do some few more frames so let's disconnect this and connect it to here and connect this to this one and double click with this and now see this is my few frames already done okay and this is my so it's actually very easy and every time i have to go single frames and i have to take my reference frame from here now for, for my case i'm taking like 62 number frame and uh, when you go this area what you have to do now you when you remove want to remove this area you just have to take this area reference from your first footage because in this first footage you guys can see nothing is in this area so this area is right now cleaned so when you go to this plate you can use your first plate as reference frame for this frame number 53 so it's actually very easy and there are lots of many options like grading and all it's actually using for any kind of light flickering as you also in first frame there's some light changes over there so that's why you used that so after using this light flickering grain and gamma and all you can achieve your proper output by using this grade option the wrap tool i will uh, exactly uh, in the wrap tool I will explain in detail session because uh, there are so many tools see there are lots of many options like softness fall off angle and this is a vast chapter so I will not go in detail with this so that's why I'm just leave it like that okay so I hope in this video you guys can learn lots of things by using this silhouette paint prep process and if yes then don't forget to hit that like button and uh, before leaving this video please do subscribe vfx world channel and uh, for further notification press the bell icon and follow us on our facebook page link is in description and linkedin and instagram as well and i will see you in my next video with some more interesting topics and tutorials till then have fun stay healthy and bye bye